Hello, my name is DB, and I'm in DB Studios, and this is All Things Brass and Technology. Welcome. I'm here with my Shelky X3, yes, and what I want to talk to you about today is warming down. You know, after playing whatever you're doing, you know, your gig or session or rehearsal, I always warm down after any activity like that. So I want to talk to you about it. So guess what? Let's get to it. So for me, what I do after playing a gig, a session, a rehearsal, any activity for extended time with the trumpet is I will warm down, okay? So I know warming down is not for everybody. Not all trumpet players warm down. Some trumpet players I talk about, they never even heard of it. Like warm down, what is that? Right? So I realize that it is not for everybody and not everybody does it. Some trumpet players may say, my warm down is rest, which rest is good, period. Right? Sleeping, you know, so the body could rejuvenate. Some trumpet players may say, my warm down is putting the horn in the case and getting it off my face. <laughs> you dig? Which is cool too. But I warm down with the horn because that works for me. So the next day when I pick the horn up and I do the first four things, which I made a video for, which I will link at the end of this video. After I do the first four things and I put that horn in my face, it feels like an extension of my body because we never want a disconnect between the horn and our body. We want it to be one. So I believe brass playing is very athletic. It's very physical, right? So going back to middle school, when I was in middle school, I played football and basketball and every practice we would stretch and warm up. And after practice, we would stretch and warm down. Or we'd do some type of warm down. In high school, I got rid of all that, but I did Taekwondo. That was fun. I got pretty good, too. Yeah, I enjoyed that. And we'd always warm up the muscles, because that was very physical. Because a lot of kicking and punching. And um, we'd warm down, you know. So, as you know, I feel that what we do is very physical. When you look at sprinters, runners, they just don't go on the track and start going in. They're going to injure themselves, right? They warm up the muscles. Then they, after their session or whatever they're doing with their craft, they warm down. You know, so that's the way I see brass playing, you know. And that's the way I see it. And, you know, try it. If it works for you, it works for you. If it doesn't work for you, don't do it. But it's something to try to see, like, especially if your first notes of the day, the horn feels really foreign. Like, oh, man. You know, then try warming down and see if that helps. So this is how I go about it. Yes. So I warm up, and now my body is in a state of readiness Embouchure's good, everything. Breathing, inhalation, exhalation, everything is good. All relaxation, I'm ready to work. I do my work 
whatever it is. I'm finished. I don't want to leave my body in that state of readiness. I want to warm it down. So this is what I do. I'll open up the Max Sloshberg book. And everybody should know this book. It's a fantastic book for developing brass technique. I will leave a link in the description. So I'll open up the Max Sloshberg book. Turn to page one. Okay. Long note drills. And I will play the very first line. Okay. It's just half note, half note, whole note. Starting on low C, going all the way down to G flat. Chromatically. I like chromatics. For real. You know, I believe it's in 8-4, so it's half note, half note, then a whole note, right? I will not play the fermatas as it's written. Actually, let's take a look at it so you could see it. Look at it, right? So I will not play the fermatas, and the dynamics will be soft piano. So let's play nice and soft and relaxed just to warm everything down. Okay, so no fermatas, and I'll play right through it one time. After that, I'm done. Put the horn in the case or on the stand, and bedtime or whatever, you know, but I'm done. So that's pretty much it. Yes. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Warming down. Try it. If it works for you, then implement it. If it doesn't, well, at least you tried something different than you usually do. Please, if you like the content that DB, which is me, is bringing to all things brass and technology, please subscribe. Tell some friends. It really helps out the channel. Thank you for watching as always. See you soon.